Trigger Nation, what's up? Chef Eduardo Garcia in my home kitchen. I'm so psyched to have everybody join me here today for a very special menu, a very special menu. The theme for this menu really came from the tables, my mom's table, my sister's table. So these are, this, the, the hand rolls menu that we're about to do is definitely, it's a meal that I have been chowing on since I was, yay hi. So it's special, near and dear to my heart. So mom, Indra, if you're tuning in, I love you deeply and I'm grateful to have you here. For everyone else that's joining, welcome and thank you. Um, we are going to be cooking a honey jalapeno chicken thigh. It's one of my favorite cuts of chicken is the chicken thigh. Lots of good fat in there, so you say nice and juicy. And then, of course, the yellowtail collar. We're going to do a grilled yellowtail collar. And that comes right off here, out, off the jaw. Yellowtail, it's in the jack family. And it is an oilier fish or a fattier fish, so really lends itself well to grilling. We're going to cook both of those on pecan pellets today. We're going to use the ranger, which is set up here in my kitchen, because it is still winter here in Montana. And although the temps aren't bad out today, it could have been sleeting sideways, buckets of snow, and maybe we'll do that TKL for everybody one day. But we decided to play it safe, and we have a ranger underneath the hood exhaust system here in my home kitchen, my hearth. We use this kitchen for all of Montana Mex's studio work, our photography. So it's set up for commercial cooking. I highly recommend not throwing your ranger on in your kitchen unless you got a hood. Okay, so just some rules to play with. And then of course, this, this TKL will be different for everybody and me because we're gonna do a giveaway. The giveaway is inspired from a artist series that just launched this last weekend, a collaboration between Traeger Grills Montana Mex, and a new friend to me, a fellow burn survivor, artist Noelle Wyman out of Lander, Wyoming. Um, if you haven't checked her out, check her out. Um, we'll throw some links up, and we have all of our Instagram this last week because this artist series, it's quite beautiful. It's where Traeger takes a piece of art, digitizes it onto a hat. This is the hat of the series and a t-shirt, and then the sales, the profits from those sales, it's a limited run, limited release, and the profits from that sale go to a cause. In this case, it's going to the University of Utah's Burn Trauma Center, and it's going to fund an adult burn camp at the end of this year. I have been trying since the day I was discharged after my electrical injury. I spent 50 days in that ICU ward, and since day one, I've been thinking, how can I give back? So when this opportunity came up, I said, yes, let's do that. So it's really, really exciting for me to be a part of this artist series. And it, what we're also going to do is on this TKL, we're going to do a giveaway. So first things first, the, the, I guess the giveaway package, and I'll show you over here over my shoulder. We have a bag of pecan pellets the Montana Mex Keto Pack, so that's our avocado oil, our chile seasoning, our jalapeno seasoning, and we're also going to be throwing in a pair of these tongs. And then on top of those, you're going to get this artist series hat. It's a limited run. Profits go to that adult burn camp, the University of Utah's Burn Trauma Center. And it is just such a rad design. Noel Wyman, you knocked it out of the park. I'm going to wear this till it's just nothing but threads. And it is a great horned owl, Traeger and Montana Mex represented underneath it. But right in the center of that owl is an anatomical heartbeat. Just super, super cool. And really, the, I guess the impetus and genesis behind this, I'm going to walk back over to my station. The intention behind this artist series and the owl it is an animal of the West. It is an animal that called to the artist. And then also here at Montana Mex, the great horned owl has been a mascot for us since our early days at farmer's markets when our green picante hot sauce, which ended up turning into this jalapeno seasoning, which we're going to use.